Hey, what's up everyone? It's Fall Guide here. I want to talk about the rise of the platformer genre in this day and age. Now, whether you like it or not, Fall Guys is a very popular game. Like, it just came out like just a few weeks ago, the beginning of this month, and the way it has taken everyone by storm. Now, I know there are some people who don't like it, who hate it. Some people who want to compare it, equate it with Fortnite, saying, ah, oh, it's just a trend. And a lot of these people I've seen, especially on our channel, are platformer fans. They love Sonic, they love Mario. And I'm just scratching my head. I'm like, dude, are you just are you just hating on this because you genuinely don't like the game? Like, you know, just because you like platformers doesn't mean you should like every platformer. Or are you just hating on this game because you just think it's a Fortnite clone or imitation or it's just you don't like it because it's trendy and all casuals are playing it? I think if you don't like it because of that, that's kind of shallow of you and kind of hypocritical. I know I may be biased, but I'm just saying from a platformer point of view, if you're a platformer fan, you should be proud of this. You should be very happy that a game like this is even that popular. Answer this question for me. When was the last time a platformer genre game was this popular with everyone with casuals, was as big as Fortnite? PUBG, Overwatch, this is the first time in a long time, and I'm talking about like since the 90s, and that is a good sign. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the rise of the platformer genre over the years, because this took a while, and how it has culminated into Fall Guys, and why I think this is a very good thing that's going on right now. I've been watching a lot of High Score. It's this uh, documentary on Netflix about the video game industry, its origins all the way from the arcades to the Atari in the late 70s to, you know, throughout the 90s and everything, the Dreamcast, the Nintendo 64, all that stuff. And I see the beginnings of gaming in the platformer genre, how platformers dominated the 90s. Like, we all know Mario saved the gaming industry in 85 and all that when it crashed in 83 thanks to Atari and their crappy games. But after Mario came a lot of other games trying to be like Mario, and then Sonic came out in 91, actual rival to Mario. They were neck and neck. Sonic eventually won that battle. And then platformers, just a plethora of platformers on Anthropomorphs came out in the 90s, trying to be like Sonic. I mean, we had Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Gex, you know, Crash Bandicoot, so many furries and scalies you know the only other anthropomorph franchise that was almost neck and neck with sonic and mario and actually had longevity before that died out for a while was crash bandicoot because all the other ones even the good ones like banjo kazooie only made like one or two and then that's it and then there's terrible ones like bubsy and there were plenty more where that came from so platformer was like the thing in the 90s like i mean sure there were sports but it was only platformer sports and fighting games you know, if you didn't like sports, you either play fighting games or platformers. Platformers was like your bread and butter. And then, as you know, the 2000s came and then the platformer genre just died. First person shooter games was on the rise. Call of Duty was on the rise. All of that shenanigans. Battlefront. And uh, yeah, that's why I've never gotten into games like Mario Sunshine, Sonic Heroes. That's part of the reason because like platformers just died around that decade. So I was getting into other types of games like uh, quest type of games like Zelda and all that. Lego was the franchise that brought me back into gaming because Lego games started in the mid 2000s like uh, Lego Star Wars, the video game in 2005. We fast forward to the 2010s and then platformers have a resurgence, you know, like, even from the beginning of 2010, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Yes, I know, Episode 1, Episode 2, like, Sonic 4 in general was pretty average and some would say mediocre, but that was the beginning of platformers coming back, like, them going retro. I mean, even before that, in the mid to late 2000s, we were getting the new Super Mario Bros. games. So this started in the mid to late 2000s, but it was like baby steps. Then the 2010s is when they were truly trying to come back with platformers. And then the new Super Mario Bros. games came out like almost every year in the 2010s. I mean, we had like, you know, I think the Wii came out 2009. Then we had new Super Mario Bros. 2. Then we had Wii U and, you know, even Mario Maker. So, yeah, and then 2016 was the turning point for platformers, right? 2016, I mean, we had Crash, Sonic's 25th anniversary. They came out announcing Mania, which was the first time we had a true successor to Sonic 3 and Knuckles since 1994 and even uh mario you know we had mario maker sure that was in 2015 
but that was cool like i never thought they would do something like that so 2015 especially 2016 was the turning point when platformers were coming back hard and then 2017 who can forget that year 2017 was the year for platformers like my god so many and it wasn't just platformers so many bangers like they should have made just a separate award saying best platformer of the year like game of the year I mean, 2017, we had Mario Odyssey, we had Sonic Mania, Cuphead, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, A Hat in Time, Ukulele. I mean, Ukulele, people say it was mediocre, but still. Other types of games, the mediocre to bad games like Ukulele, Bubsy came back. Like, I know they were seizing that opportunity to come back because a bunch of platforms were coming back. Bubsy had no business coming back, but still, that, that was a crazy year. So many platformers in that year. And even 2018, we had Sonic Mania Plus. Spyro reignited Mega Man 11 it was like a resurgence of ports and everything I mean Crash was getting ported Cuphead was getting ported and then 2019 last year we had Super Mario Maker 2 last year we had a lot of indie platformers like we didn't have any like main AAA platformers but we had tons of indie platformers like Ori and the Will of the Wisps and even 2020 despite the pandemic going on we got Fall Guys, you know, which is basically a platformer battle royale. Battle royale games have been super popular in the past couple years. 2017's Fortnite and PUBG. Now Fall Guys is taking over as a platformer battle royale instead of survival. So this is amazing. Like I never thought something like this would take people by storm. How long can it last? We will see, you know, we will definitely see. Honestly, it's a very basic game with basic movesets. You just run, everyone runs at the same speed. You jump, you grab, you dive, you know, you don't have that much range. I mean, you're, you're no Mario. You don't jump as high as Mario. You don't run as fast as Sonic. Yeah, so because of that, the game definitely needs more updates to give it longevity. Kind of like Splatoon, the first Splatoon game. This reminds me a lot of Splatoon 1 meets actual live action games like Wipeout and those kind of games. They're already coming out with Season 2. Season 2 is coming out this Thursday, or not coming out. They're going to announce it at GamesCon this Thursday. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm happy for Fall Guys success. And here's to the future of the franchise and for platformers in general. The future is looking bright for platformers because I'm essentially a platformer gamer. I mean, that's all I play for the most part. I mean, sure, I love fighting games like Smash Bros. And I love survival shooting games like Resident Evil. But I'm always going to be more of a platformer fan. Mario, Sonic, Lego. Those are one of my top five platforming games. My top five gaming franchises in general. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think Fall Guys is a sign that platformers are starting to dominate the charts now with gaming? Or do you just think this is just a fad, a trend that will die out in a year or two and people really don't care about platformers, they just care about trends? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, what do you think is going to happen in Gamescom? What type of games are you expecting to see for that? Alright guys, you know what to do. Smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So always stay notified on my videos. So take care and until next time, I'm out.